Spruce fir forests are high elevation forests typically located about 25 to 3500 feet above sea level. The two most common species in spruce fir forests are red spruces and balsam firs. Red spruce grow in dry soil and shallow soil ledges. They can be characterized by their dark olive green needles and evergreen crown. Balsam firs are mostly located further north, so we don't see as many in the forests around central New England. They are visually identifiable as mini Christmas trees. Both spruces and firs gather condensation from morning dew and fog. The needles then disperse the water onto the forest floor. This is especially useful in times of drought. Condensation from clouds contributes significantly to the moisture in these forests. Colder temperatures combine with deep, late melting snow at high elevations and can contribute to high moisture levels in the soil, keeping the forest hydrated. Spruce fir forests are greatly affected by even slight fluctuations in climate. Temperature is the primary determinant for the spatial growing patterns of fir and spruce. Spruce fir forests in the White and Green Mountains of New England showed patterns of increasing abundance, most likely due to their recovery from the negative impacts of historic land use and pollution. Despite these comebacks, long-term predictions of spruce fir forests in relation to the climate slowly indicated large declines in these species from across much of the northeastern United States. As cold adapted species, spruce and fir could very likely become outnumbered by hardwoods and pines with increasingly warming temperatures. Spruces can grow in many soil conditions, dry soil and shallow soil on ledges. Soils in these forests are typically very nutrient poor due to increased acidity levels. The needle litter of conifers is low in nutrients and due to its acidity, it decomposes very slowly and contributes to the organic matter accumulation on the forest floor. Because spruce fir forests have a wide canopy of branches and needles, the only vegetation that typically grows in these forests are mosses such as green peat moss, haircat mosses, reindeer lichen covered rocks, and some small spruce saplings. Other species that are common to these forests are paper birch, yellow birch, and harleaf birch. Spruce fir forests can provide a safe, sheltered habitat for many New England animals. Birds include Bicknell's thrush, Swanson's thrush, and the yellow-bellied flycatcher. Also, some fauna that prefer coniferous forests are the snowshoe hare, porcupines, and deer mice. Although there is little evidence the birds and animals have been affected by all this climate change, with the increase in climate change over the upcoming years, it is possible they will be. Although these forests are comfortable with some dry soil, water shortages due to drought may make spruce fir forests more susceptible to fire or invasion of other species like Pinus strobus. Unfortunately, humans also leave their mark on these forests through increased demand for renewable energy. With this threat, large areas of lowland spruce fir and high altitude spruce fir forests could be converted to earlier successional stages as a result of harvesting for biomass fuel. Mount Monadnock is a great location to see spruce fir forests locally here in Keene. This spruce fir forest covers most of the slopes of Mount Monadnock.